Welcome, uh, welcome to the wonderful world of YouTube. We got me and David today. Uh, we're working on the Mighty Fine Turbo Turd. Cam's not here today. He's doing some of his own personal shit. So, we're trying to make a video. We don't really have much, but I'll explain what we did. So, first things first, car looks a little different since the last video where we had the bump, whole front end back on. So, pretty much what I did today is finished. You can't see. Finished looming the whole harness through the under radiator support back into the car. Hooked the brake lines up. Got the uh, proportioning valve all mocked up, so we gotta figure out where these two br uh, brake lines go so that we can make them for sometime soon. So back here, what, we found, what Mitch found out is that with the brake pads, it has to go in a certain direction, the rotor, and we have to put the rotors on the wrong side. So I just took off the brake caliper and everything, took the rotor, swapped them, and put it all back on. Um, we ran the, what, the one back brake line? Yeah, yeah, the big back brake line. And then whatever we did up front, and up everything like that. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> also, a uh, another thing we did is we hooked up the fuck. What is it called? Vacuum block. Uh, we started drilling two holes, and the drill bits broke off inside of the sheet metal. But we have a bolt holding it in right now, just for testing purposes. And then another thing we did is we hooked up slate or clutch slave or master, whatever the hell you want to call it, to the clutch pedal. Got that all hooked up. I wired in fuse panel, got that done. So pretty much all we're waiting on is the motor and tranny. Once we have the motor and tranny all in, we can start getting it buttoned down, getting it ready to go so that we can start driving my bitch again. All right, so we're gonna be doing something a little different since Cameron's not here to record everything and we really didn't record much anything at all today. So we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna do a and a For you guys who are subscribed, if you guys want more of these, let us know in the comments below. And if you guys want us to keep doing something like this, ask the questions, we'll be happy to answer them or Mitch will be happy. Anyone in the group you can ask about, Austin, Cam, Mitch, me, whatever you guys want. You yeah, guys can ask gonna DM us the questions. And... Yeah, DM us, leave them in the comments wherever you guys uh, think Cameron will always uh, you know be happy to put them in or something like that and we'll do something like this a little different today like I said we just got caught up in working and you know with everyone it's hard for us now to make these videos because he's got a full-time job I got a full-time job Cameron's got a full-time job now and Austin's got a full-time job so everyone's got full-time jobs everyone's got to do stuff so we all got family stuff this, going on. this car is our own well, it's my personal side project but it's everyone's little getaway for the for the week all of us just come out here hang out shoot the shit and try to put this car back together yeah and uh, we like doing this you know me and Mitch have been doing this for too long way too long quite a few years but it helps us you know we get to hang out we grew up as friends this is one we'll tell you guys um we grew up I don't know I want to say shit we were like two or three I want to say when we first met yeah um we used to play t-ball together we used to hang out all the time when we were kids and then for about seven or eight years we didn't see each other never spoke to each other and we used to go camping our parents used to own campers up at a campground and one day he showed up and we became best friends ever since um he's had this car ever since i can remember and so one day he started with it but we'll get into the questions right now so first question i got is what made you what made you want to build this kind of car uh truthfully i hate this fucking car i hated everything about it uh it was my first car i was get, uh, given it at the age of 14 it had a blown motor my dad told me if i helped him put the motor in the day i turned 16 i could get it so i was all fucking shit in my pants about having a car at freshman in high school so <clears throat> i think like two weeks later we put a motor in it he drove it for about two a year or two and then i turned 16 got my license got the car uh truthfully this car wasn't meant to be how it is now truthfully it kind of started out as a joke i went to uh, college for automotive my teacher told me i could build a motor i didn't want to build a typical chevy 350 so i went to the junkyard bought my motor for this which was the first turboed motor built that i was just gonna build a motor because the old the motor in this one was kind of getting it was all leaky and shit and i just wanted something reliable so i could drive it so when i built that motor i was sitting in my one car with my buddy and, uh, just shooting the shit and i was like dude fucking ebay sells a turbo kit for this car he's like don't do it dude don't fucking do it 
It started out as a joke. Uh, I bought the turbo kit and what you saw from the very first Turbo Cavalier video was that original motor and that turbo kit. Uh, truthfully, this car did start out as a joke and it still is a joke. Some things are not going to be perfect on that and I know that, but it has definitely been a hell of a ride the last almost six years with this car that I've owned it. Uh, it's gone through so many stages which I will put in right here. Um, it's it's been all over the place with this car. I wanted this day I got it, I wanted to fucking get rid of it. I didn't want to be seen dead in this car. And then I joined Facebook. They had a Cavalier page, so I joined it and I saw all the cool shit you could do with these cars. So I was like, fuck it. I bought an exhaust for it. it sounded like shit. I was a full header back exhaust. Did that. I did some lowering springs and I put two inch spacers on SRT four wheels, which I still have. So I drove around like that and then I started building it as a joke. But I mean, I've met a lot of cool people along the way. It's been, I've spent too much money on this fucking car, but hopefully when it's done, it'll, it'll be fucking moving this year. And you know, the thing is, is everyone can say, oh, it's just a Cavalier. Yeah, you know, it's a Cavalier and everything, but it's a good time for all of us to get together. You know, like I was saying before, we're all full-time workers now, and it's hard for us to see each other, so this has a chance for us to bring it together. We have laps along the ways, you know, and we all get to spend time. And I know a little bit about cars, Mitch knows about cars, but Cam and Austin, they know somewhat about cars, so it's awesome. And, you know, it gives us a chance, you know, for them to learn. And if someone wants to learn, they can come along and do it. Oh, so, dude, Cam, last year, he didn't even know how to fucking take a wheel off. That's why he had that whole <laughs> fucking lug nut situation, but now he's fucking... How'd you get the lug nuts off? Yeah. I just screwed him. Dude, now he's fucking... He helped me put the subframe in. Him and Austin are wearing all my gauges and the meth kit in. They'll fucking pick up something and be like, all right, what can I use this for? They'll, they'll fucking crack down and they just want to learn, which is, I mean, it's cool. It's a learning... This is, this is everyone's learning car, so I mean... You know, we always told Mitch, if you ever need help along the way, we're always there for him. Um, so it's just kind of like we always like to help out, and he helps us out. So, next question. What made you keep going after you blew up the, blew it up the first time? First time or last year? The first time. What made you keep going after the first time? Uh, Alright, so here's what happened. I blew it up with my girlfriend going to a work party and I was like ah oh, fuck it I'll just let it sit for a while I let it sit it blew up in July I forget what day but it blew up in July I let it sit till my, my birthday came around that's what fucking started it all my birthday came around and the parts car actually was posted on Facebook marketplace for sale and I saw his hood and I really wanted the hood at the time I was like yo like I, I want your hood he's like okay he's like I also have a fully built Cavalier that makes a uh, like Four, over 400 wheel, manual swap, blah, blah, blah. At that time, I was losing interest on the car. I really didn't want anything to do with it. So I, I was like, you know what? At worst can't, comes to worst, I'll put the NA motor back and just drive it around for a little until I save up money to either buy a house or another car. So I went and looked at his car. Immediately f fell in love. I was like, dude, I have to have this. He was like, dude, six grand, it's yours. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not paying six grand for a fucking Cavalier. So came down to it where... I think the first thing I bought so I could start rebuilding is the valve, the upgraded valve cover with the catch cans on it. The first time I went there, he's like, hey, I have a fully built motor I've, I'm willing to sell for like a decent price. So I was like, okay, like there sparks my energy again. Like I was like, you know what, I really want to, I want to, I want to do this now. So I kept going like once a week, I was dropping like 200, $300 on parts just so I could fucking have parts. And then... A week before, me and my girlfriend and her family went to Texas to visit her brother. Uh, he texted me, he's like, dude, here's the deal. Thousand bucks, you, you take the motor, you take pretty much half, you take half the car minus the radiator and intercooler. So I was like, you know what? I got the thousand bucks, I'll meet up this weekend with you. I bought pretty much almost everything off the car. So that brings us to last, last year, or this year, but last phase of the car. Where it blew up the last time. Yeah, where it blew up in the driveway. I messaged him because I wanted the, the brake kit. I was like, dude, what do you want for the brake kit? I was like, I want to have it. He's like, uh, like 1300 bucks. Like, ah, fuck, for fucking brakes? Fuck no, dude. Like, I, I know, obviously knew what they were worth, but I was like, I, they're, they're used, they're secondhand, I don't want to buy them. So, a couple, I, I shot him an offer of like 500 bucks. And he was like, nah, I can't do that, I can't do that. Well, it was been sitting in his driveway for five years untouched. So I, I'm thinking in the back of my head, well, he's gonna have to do it. He just wants it fucking gone. I get a call from him about three weeks later. He's like, all right, dude, you bring me 700 bucks, you get the fuck out of my life. So that's that's what happened. And 
ever since then I've just been putting his shit back onto my car so I can get my car done. Yeah, basically, so everything that just went down, he said, was just basically just the rundown of what happened the first time he blew it up, when it was basically kind of just me and him, and towards the end, everyone started joining in. Yeah. And then the second time is when everyone really started coming along and um, started helping more, and that's when the videos kind of started rolling out. Um, the reason why we kind of did the video thing with this—it was, it was a joke too. It was a like Mister said, it was a whole joke. Cameron kind of wanted a YouTube channel. Um, no, Cameron just wanted to like fuck around, start editing a little bit more. Yeah, because so he was making videos before my car. But he just wasn't like, sure where he wanted to go with them. He yeah. Basically. He knew he wanted to do something. He wasn't sure. And we all kind of suggested, well, why not record the car? I said it was just kind of a huge joke about me, all three of us, a couple of guys getting together and working on a car at night. You know, and at first it was kind of a hit and miss situation. But you guys have really came along. I think Cameron said we got 340 subscribers I, now. I think it's a little over that now. I can't. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Cameron will put it right here in front of us if we're wrong. But whatever it is, you know, it's awesome. You know, guys show support to us. You know, I'm 20, he's 19. I'm 20 now. Oh shit, you're 20 now. I'm sorry. I'm 20, he's 20, Cameron's 19. And you know, it's in Austin, I believe, is 19 too. Yeah. So it's kind of funny, you know, just a couple of guys that just come in a <laughs> garage at night and work on a Cavalier and you guys like it. I hope it's funny for you guys, you know. And if you guys want to see stuff, you know, let us know. Like, put it in the comments what you guys want to see more of. You know, if you guys want to see more of work going or what you guys want to see, let us know. And truthfully, the channels came a long way in the last two years i think when that first turbo cavalier video came out he had maybe like 40 subscribers if that and now we have over 300 which i mean it's still not a lot but it's a lot more than what we had two years and ago it's crazy just for his cameron starting off is like bone stock nothing yeah. you know it, it was kind of crazy to think of that you know guys it's it's kind of funny but it's kind of awesome at the same time that there's people out there like us that you know like to do this kind of stuff and like to watch videos about it well and plus all right so that one video we had released maybe about a month and a half two months ago for whatever reason overnight it had over 1200 views just like that like it just fucking blew up so I don't know what the hell we're doing, but I mean, some most of, a lot of our videos have over a couple hundred views, but a couple of our videos have over a couple thousand views. Like I know one can't be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> Dude, that was gonna be so bad. <laughs> but a um, couple of our videos, like I know one Cam's uh, Cavalier speaker install has over, I think it has over 6K or something like that. So we make videos just to fucking make videos. Like we don't care <clears throat> if we're producing good content. Or, I mean, we do, but at the same time, we're going to be producing a, a video each week. So no matter what we do on this car, every every Monday, we all hang out. We have a good time. Just shoot the shit, work on the car a little. Some stuff moves faster than, some stuff moves faster than others, but. The last question I got here is, what color do you want the car? I know me and him always talk about the color scheme on what he would like to do and what we'd all like to see. Um, so what's your kind of idea? and What do you want to go with for the future color of this car? Um, so future colors. So it's blue now. It's not staying blue forever. Uh, as you know, the engine bay is purple and most of my accents that I have are purple and blue. Um, the car was originally white. I did paint it stupidly as I did. I did paint it. Um, I'm going to go back to a, I'm going to do a pearlescent white with a purple pinstripe going down the side of it. And then another thing I want to do since since I've started doing the purple shit is uh, throw, I want to make a big vinyl of the Dixie Cup logo and put it going down the side of the, uh, the whole bottom of the doors just to make it like pop out. Cause I mean, white, blue, and purple all right fucking here. And I'm not doing a fucking wild berry pop tart car. That's not gonna happen for a while. I wanna get on my feet. I wanna get this car done. I wanna move out. I wanna, I wanna become an adult. So this right here, if it blows up, it's the last of this car. We'll still make videos about stuff guys, just so you know. Um, maybe in the future there'll be another car. I know eventually I'm gonna look at getting a project car, you know, that's down the line a little bit here. Um, I got financial stuff going on, loans and everything else down the line. Um, Mitch, you know, he's got stuff going on. You know, he wants to do stuff in his own. Cameron's got stuff going on. So there will be other stuff and there will be other videos out if anything ever did happen to this car again. Another thing that we talked about as a group is shirts, possibly. Like, like merchandise. Merchandise-wise. Shirts, stickers, you know, stuff along those lines. I know one big one we want to do is the obviously the State Moist sticker. Um, we want to do shirts with Clissy's custom logo on it. You know, it's not, it's not real thing, you know what I mean? But it's just something that, you know, Mitch came up with working one day and uh, it's 
stuck ever since. Um, there's a Facebook page we do have. Um, you guys can go on there, Klitsky's Custom. Maybe one day he'll make an Instagram for you guys too, um, down the line here. But let us know what you guys would like, maybe. Uh, we're trying to shoot for about a thousand subscribers. By the time this car is done, we want to have a thousand subscribers. Yeah, by the time this car is done. And when we hit that thousand subscriber mark, um, we all talked about it, um, money-wise, we could probably do it, uh, if all four of us contributed, or all three of us, whatever the case may be. Um, we want to do shirts, stickers, you know, let us know if you guys are interested in that stuff, or we're just going to be wasting our time. Um, I would like to do shirts first, and stickers, and see where that takes us. That way we're just getting our feet wet with the merchandise. And all that money, up to siding up to Cam, because I know he's been talking about putting more money into the channel for better content and stuff. Yes. Because he did tell me he wanted to, uh, if this car did blow up, he was going to go halves with me on WRX swapping my uh, uh, Impreza. So I know he, he definitely wants to still be making content no matter what happens what happens with this car or not, he wants to be making content. So I know that's his goal. That's definitely all of our goals, you know. Um, this is Cameron's channel all the way. Um, yeah. We're not trying to take that from him. I hope you guys don't get the impression on that. Cameron started this channel. Cameron does all the editing for this channel. This Cameron, is Cameron busts his fucking ass every night. He's up till three o'clock in the yeah. morning fucking. When we leave here at 11 o'clock, he's got a half hour drive home from here. So he gets home, let's say 11.45. He's up till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then he wakes up, goes to school, or goes to work. So that kid's fucking busting his ass. So I want you guys to go. I know Cameron puts everything in the description down below, um, Instagram-wise and stuff like that. Um, please go give him a follow. Please go give him a big thank you from you guys. Um, it means the world to us, too. You know, he does so much for this channel <coughs> um, with editing-wise and, you know, doing all the recording and stuff. Like Mitch said, he's got school going on. He's got work going on now. He graduated school, congrats Cameron. Um, and he's got school, he's got work now. So it's hard for him to do everything. So we just like to give him a big shout out for you know doing any of this. And like I said before, please do not take this as us trying to take his channel. This is 100% Cameron's channel. We just like to help him out because he it's hard for him with everything going on. So. Let us know down below. Please subscribe and like this video and share it. If you guys ever have any future questions we'd like to answer or Mitch would like to answer, or like I said, anyone in here, go ahead, ask them, send them to the DM of Cameron, and uh, we'll be happy to answer them. But, guys, that's all we got for you tonight. Wait, See have, ya! I have one more. We well, can't end it on that? No, go we can still end it. Uh, you gotta come here, jerk me off, and ask me. We'll just do a, like a quick parts list on the card. Go ahead. Dildo! And Shut do up! You're the one that wanted the dildo shipped her. I did. I still do. Did they ever see the bullet dog? It's, it's, it's an Easter egg from now on. Oh, it was a Gatorade, dude. I totally forgot about that. Where is it? I threw it out when we moved. Dude, it was disgusting. I opened the cap and I fucking almost puked. What's your name again, Betty? Dude, we gotta get fucking closer, Betty. Her. Yeah, dude. <sighs> meet me, bitches. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> It's just, we're here, let's do it. We're at Klitsky's motherfucking customs. That's also a fucking joke, too. Yep. That all started as a joke. This Anyways, whole fucking thing's a joke. Well, what kind of parts do you have on your car? Okay, David. So, everyone's gonna leave all the same. I know. <laughs> <laughs> a mine 1999 Chevrolet Cavalier. My 1999 Chevrolet Cavalier. We have a. Where do I even start? We have. Start uh, in the back and work the way in front. Um, we have rear Willwood setup. <laughs> For brakes off the off a 2005 STI, I have a set of Toyota Cavalier taillights. Uh, I have just like some fucking eBay exhaust, like cat back on it for now. Oh, I have a rear sway bar, a rear a custom rear tie bar. That's I have a 2003 or 2002 Chevy Cavalier LSS bumper with the detachable lip on it. Uh, it has a trailer hitch. We just kind of updated everything back there. Uh, made it so when he does get power and everything like that, everything's not shifting, you know, and stuff like that. Coming towards the front more, we kind of did the same concept. We did a K-frame up there. Um, solid engine mounts we did. Oh, yeah. Those are going to be nice, especially when he gets on it, you know, if he's doing a race or something like that. He gets on it, so everything's not going to want to twist or shift, you know. It's going to keep him nice and straight going down the track. Replace the bunch of stuff up front. Yeah. Oh, I have uh, four pot Lilwoods brakes off an uh, 05 STI. Front sway bar, uh, K-frame support, uh, custom lower radiator support, custom intercooler, custom radiator. That's it really for like suspension. -like. I have like uh, polyurethane control arm bushings. I have, it's a, I, it used to be an automatic. So we, we converted it last year to a manual. It has a Getrag F23 transmission that it, 
I believe is built. It has a uh, LSD in it. I have a jack shaft which reduces, it converts a longer shaft axle to a shorter shaft so it bolts the motor. That I have a fully built motor with Eagle or with Wiseco pistons and Eagle H beam rods, upgraded bearings, everything all ARP bolts in the motor, uh, upgraded oil pickup, custom turbo grind cam, I guess if you want to call it that. Got a cam, rockers, uh, valve cover spacer, the custom valve cover, two catch cans. I have a methanol injection kit, bigger injectors, a Walbro 255 fuel pump, steel, stainless steel brake lines, uh, Chevy C10 pickup truck brake booster for the bigger brakes, aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. I have a custom uh, fuel rail, a vacuum block, HKS SSQV blow off valve with custom intercooler piping, I have a eBay T3, T4 turbo, external wastegate uh, that comes out the hood, the whole, I have an RK Sport import fighter, front bumper, it's whatever. The car should put out about over 400 wheel, which is fucking insane for this kind of car, but. Now, when it came to tuning it, we, were, we talked about it and he even agreed, for the first tune, you're going to keep it pretty mild, let everything break in pretty soundly, and then after that, he's going to go for a second tune, and the second tune is where he's going to keep it at. So I think the first thing you said you want to be around 300, 350 area yeah. for your first one. And then for the second one, we all agreed to keep it at 400 max. We know this car and the engine could go over that. That's where you really start to push the limits of everything. Even Mitch was telling us. So it's just kind of the thing is, you know, 400 horsepower, we all agreed is like even Mitch just said, that's quite a lot of power, even in a car this size. I drive a 2011 Ford EcoBoost F-150 and those trucks make 375 horsepower. But this weighs probably about half what my truck weighs. This car weighs, I think, like 2,200 pounds. About half what my truck weighs. So, you know, you figure you push 400 horsepower to this thing all day long and it's going to crank out some power. You know? no, that's pretty much it. Like we said before, guys, you know, this is all cam stuff. So whatever he does with this video, he does. And, you know, I hope you guys like the content we're producing. Um, like I said, also, if you guys got any other questions you'd like us to answer, anyone, anyone, you guys can ask anyone in this group whatever they want, um, go ahead, we'll be happy to answer them. Keep them pretty good, guys, you know, I like, you know, some of these people would go out there and do some weird stuff. We're only going to answer the, you know, questions that we want. And uh, other than that, you know, enjoy what we put out. If you guys want to hear anything else, leave a comment. And uh, maybe one day we'll start making merchandise if that's what you guys want, if you guys would be interested in. Mm -hmm. Oh, plan. So for this car, seeing that we have came a lot fucking farther and sooner than I expected, what we have left to do is make two brake lines for the brake booster going to the proportioning valve, uh, wire in my gauges and my meth kit, and I'm just waiting on my head to get machined. Once I get the head machined, we can put the motor and tranny back in, and we can start driving it. So it's not a whole lot. It's just right now it's a bunch of tedious, tinkering bullshit. I want to say April. Around then, we should be driving it. If everything goes as planned, April. April with the first two. Yeah, so we really don't have a lot left to do, but we're still going to be making some bomb-ass videos. And I know Cam's excited as hell to be making the $10,000 Cavalier video because I know he, every time I see him he's like dude we gotta fucking make it soon we're over that though. yeah we're probably at like 12, 12 grand now <laughs> so uh, I know he's excited and pumped to make that video and that video is gonna be a banger because he said he's gonna bring out his best editing shit and I know um, my girlfriend has a camera a really nice camera she could use too we could all use so yeah so I mean really uh, I think it's. You had to get my hand wet, dude. It's already wet. Fucking. Oh my god! She's gonna get moldy now. <laughs> gotta blow it out. Dude, there's grease all around her. Fucking. Alright, that's it. We're done.